So there we have it, my friend. Four pitches. What's on your napkin? Let's speak about these quickly. So our first pitch, we had Seth on here with base 10 health, a ton of knowledge, right? Like he, he knows his stats. He knows the data. We obviously know there's a problem with regards to just healthcare in our country. There's potential here. My concern with it was, was just how big it is, right? Like Deacon, like he showed that one slide and it was like 40 features. And I'm like, <laughs> where are we gonna start? Like, because exactly. like, you know how challenging building tech is, right? We gotta exactly. find a starting point. So in due diligence, I'm excited to see where Seth says we should begin. What's the one thing that we can do that no one else is doing in the space to just start building some traction? Because what we don't want to do is spend three years building something, because in three years, there's going to be thousands of new solutions that launch. We want to launch in three months. Like, what do we bring to market? The next pitch we had was Bobby. And with Bobby, it is Web3 solution. Nice gentleman, but just way too scattered for me. Did you feel that as well? Because I know that you haven't done much with Web3 and with crypto, but with a presentation, the whole premise is you want to make it so simple that yeah. even someone that doesn't understand the industry is able to at least grasp exactly. it. Exactly. And I understand exactly. the industry and I couldn't grasp yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So it's just hard to follow. Did exactly. you find that as well? No, absolutely. And for us, yeah. that matters because like this is someone that would sit in a co-founder seat. And if, if that's how, how the mind works, which is a brilliant mind, for us, it doesn't work. It just feels like there's no focus. We need focus as a founder. The third pitch we had was uh, Fernando here, pitching something that, that I really understand, and, and, and you do as well, building Christian marketing solutions. So an all-in-one marketing platform with content loaded inside of it, right? Really interesting, and it's a big build. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge, huge, it's a Herculean feat to build SaaS like that. I hope in due diligence, he has a really unique idea on how to start with the content side. Like, how exactly. do we get the content into other platforms versus building the platform itself? And then and our final pitch was Ingo, and with Ingo, I'm just concerned there's product market fit. I know a ton about the no-code world. I don't know if you've done any work there yet, but the genius of no-code is that people like us who don't know how to code in a weekend can launch an app. Yeah, no interest and, in learning how to is, code either. Yeah, no interest, like zero interest. So we can do it ourselves, yeah. but when we do it ourselves, it's almost free. Like right. It's just our time. Or we hire an agency to do it, and they usually start at $1,000 to $3,000 and then you own you're done. it, like you're done. Exactly. So I'm just concerned about product market fit, but maybe maybe I was missing it. Maybe there's something else to this platform. But that's why this show matters, right? We have these four entrepreneurs from around the world that have these early stage ideas. Ingo's a little bit more mature. And what they're hoping is that they can convey the value proposition. And they only have five minutes to do it. But in five minutes, anything's possible. I mean, you realize Roger Bannister was told that it was impossible to run a four minute mile. And he just didn't listen because people That's tried right. before him. But then what did he do? He ran the four minute mile and he proved it was possible. Mm -hmm. And you can prove it's possible as well. I believe everybody has a tech idea, right? Everybody, Absolutely. everybody has an idea written on a piece of paper right now. And we want to invite you, head over to pitch10k.com and submit that idea. It's free to submit. We want to review your submission. And if we see potential, we're going to invite you to pitch. So what are your thoughts on the napkin? What are your thoughts on, on the power of writing down that idea, committing to it, and then seeing it come to life? How powerful is the napkin? Oh, it's, it's very powerful, Jared. You know, and, and one of the things I think that holds people back is fear. Yeah. You know, and, and for me, from a, sp a spiritual perspective, you know, the scripture says that love casts out all fear. Yeah. So if you're passionate, you have that love that you feel motivated, write it down, and then get in contact Let's with... Do it. Pitch10k.com. Pitch10k. We appreciate you. Thank you for watching the show. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.